Hi everybody, and welcome back to the studio. Uh, it's a beautiful day, so today we're going to be painting. I already have my canvas prepared, uh, and it's just covered with the liquid white. And what I thought we would do today is we would spend a lot of time on the sky and reflect it deep into the water. So I'm going to start out today with some Indian yellow, just a tiny, tiny little bit. And I'm just going to start where I think the horizon is going to be in this paint. Very, very, very little paint. Bring some of it into where the water might be. And then next, a very small amount of the yellow ochre. Just a really small amount. Bring those kind of guys together. The yellow ochre is like a really kind of golden color. Very, very nice. And then finally, the last one I'm going to use is a very small amount of bright red. And very, very, very little here. Touching a little bit, soft neck strokes. And the red is going to do something for us. It's going to make a nice barrier. Because the next color we're going to add is we're going to add some blue. Add some red to the water. A little hair just stick off. The last color we're going to add, same dirty brush, tiny, super small amount of table blue. Tap the brush to make sure that. We have a really even sort of distribution. These corners. Right at the corner. That way, they're the darkest spot. And actually, I have a bit too heavy load, so I'm going to take off some of the paint on my brush. I can move water. Start from the outside going in. And that's a super sneaky thing that you can do is if you have too much paint on your brush, clean it off somewhere on the canvas where it doesn't matter. Just sort of start to bring it together with a clean brush. Clean brush here and just bring these things together. If for some reason you accidentally made blue, which is our thing that we don't like to do at our sun, is, you know, you'll just put a cloud there. But you didn't really make any kind of mistake at all. Alright, I said that we're going to start off doing a lot of time, spending a lot of time with our clouds. Uh, but first, I want to take some white and I want to put in where the sun is. And the sun is right here, and I'm going to brighten that spot up and work out right where the yellow was at the end. Clean off the brush, just beat it off onto your thing, onto your easel. something really beautiful today. Go into a little bit of the liquid white, just to thin your paint a little bit. And we're going to start adding in some clouds. Cloud. And look, I made some green up here. So there's a cloud. And now all that green is gone, like I never did anything, no mistakes. And these clouds just don't stay in the same place for very long. Touch and go. Touch and go.
you do stringy ones sideways like this. I want to fill this thing all with yellow. I think that might be enough. A little stringy one right here. That's what we're going to do. We're going to highlight these clouds. So, highlight color for these ones is going to be, going to be, let's say, Indian yellow, bright red. Indian yellow, bright red. Take that guy. And think about where your sun is. Red. Add the highlight there. Think about where your sun is. Your sun is down here. So you're not going to get highlight on every part of the cloud. And think too about where the sun washes out your cloud. Right? Sometimes the sun gets so bright you can't see everything. And then, with another clean brush, start to bring that highlight together using tiny little circles. Bring them together. Super, super soft. Together. You want these clouds to be beautiful golden, kind of sun-kissed kind of thing. Now I said what we were going to do is we were going to make them reflecting into the water. Now a lot of people have a hard time understanding water because um, water's clear, but when we look at it, it has a color. The reason why it has a color is because Water is basically a big mirror. So the reason why water appears blue is because the sky is usually blue. So because it's a big mirror, I'm going to go into Magic of Light. And everywhere I made a cloud, I'm going to make a little cloud of water. And they don't have to be perfect. That's the nice thing about reflection is these reflections are really just, you know, they're going to be distorted a lot by the water. So it, it doesn't have to be a perfect copy or a perfect duplicate. Just as long as there's something there, then it should be fine. Highlight color, same highlight color, but this time, remember it's a bit of a mirror, so you're gonna reflect what you see up there. So in this case, it's like the top of the clouds get highlighted. The top of the cloud. This is a really good opportunity for contrast because look. This is reflecting right into the brightest part of the water. So I can really add some of the dark, richer colors in there, and it'll show up super well. Clean brush, we're using lots of clean brushes to improve the clean 
clouds on the top are going to get a little circular, light, gentle kind of pickup. up. So pick them up, pull some strings out. Because I can't be to be right where I can't reach. Up. Just pull them up. And these ones, we're going to do a couple different things with these guys, but the first thing we might want to do is pull them down. Super gentle. These ones down here, they're going to get extra special treatment. Put the ones on the top now. We're just going to sort of very gently Set them into the background. Very, very light brush strokes. Just to sort of blend, cut off some of those things. If you feel like the load was a bit heavy on the brush, you just pick it up again. Not a big deal. And these guys down here, I'm not going to cut the strings off with the brush, I'm going to cut them off with a knife. So I'm just going to cut them, and I'm going to cut going up. Every once in a while it does, it's a good idea to cut off, to clean your knife off. Because you're going to, your knife is going to cut some of the gold that you laid down. And that's not ideal. So you have to clean off the knife. That clean brush that we have. Make sure it's super clean. You're going to go outside in. background clouds and we want a lot of depth in our sky. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into some silver and crimson, sailor blue, and try to get a nice kind of purple kind of color. Maybe a little bit more on the red side. Something like that. And I'm going to try to draw the eye into the clouds at the top. So I'm going to start here. Crazy, but the shape is really important because I want to sort of draw the eye in. This is a great chance to hide any of those uh, mistakes you made. The big clouds.
course, down into the water. We're going to sort of try to copy generally that shape. Trying not to destroy anything good too. It's just like how you can paint over things that look bad. Don't paint over too many things that look good. You'll be angry at yourself. Wow, that's kind of crazy looking. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to pick them up. Use any brush if you have any left. I use lots of brushes so it doesn't take me forever to paint them on the show. Just pick up those dark out. Move them around. Pick up some string. Don't worry about the strings, they always seem to get cut off. And then that here, pick them up, pull them down. Because right? it's a reflection. Things are going to be basically upside down. Alright. Then, another clean brush. Do we even have any more left? You really have to do, you really do have to beat your brush very frequently. These ones hold the inside of the water. Uh, a few little places that I kind of want to pick up. There's this cloud over here. It wasn't looking too great. This cloud's not looking too great. I'll pick him up too. The rest basically seem okay. Brush. Very, very gentle. We have really nice sky working for us right now.
I like that. Thing we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight those purple. Colors. We're gonna go a little bit crazy and we're just gonna highlight them. Bright red and some of that purple. Here. Just gonna find out where that sun is. Working with the corner of the brush, I need tiny circles. Then we're going to spend a lot of time on this guy today. I think that's what we're accomplishing. Play with your clouds. This really ought to be something fun for you. Here you think the different things the colors can do. Let's just start playing. I'm just going to use this brush. It'll start to run out of paint eventually. Then I'll start getting different blends going on. A lot the same way a real sunset is. A real sunset, like, I'm sure it's obeying the laws of physics and stuff, but there's just so much going on with a real sunset that it's just kind of. It's hard to imagine that the best way to paint sunset is to follow a single strict way of doing it. And that's not fun anyway. It's much more fun to just sort of get in there and do something and not worry. We have enough things to worry about these days. I think we might as well just paint some pictures and enjoy what we got. Look for opportunities.
starts to work, you do it. Maybe you accidentally do something like I did there and you start to see, oh, actually, that was really nice. Just do it like that. Right, so that's basically a really cool, kind of crazy uh, sunrise sunset. This was a sunset. I'm not gonna lie, I was walking down the street and that's I saw this, and I just wanted to paint it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a lot of our dark colors together. So we're gonna go halo blue, depression blue, black, half green. Basically what I end up usually just calling the mountain color, and then light brown. Super big pile of dark. We have all these bright colors. And what is the best thing in the world if we have some contrast? So we're just going to do super shadow here. These pushdown shades are really fun because they can easily reflect deep into the water. They're an easy shoe to work with. I've run out of clean brushes, so I'm going to clean one off. So to clean off your brush, I have a little bottle, well, a little jar of brush thinner, and I'm going to go in and clean off the brush. There's a small piece of steel wool in here. I'm going to use that to try to scrub off all the purple I have. That's this. I had a cameraman that could show you this. Do this kind of movement. So I'll take all the excess out, go onto your easel, anywhere where it's clean. Keep the alcohol out of it. I like to make sure mine's really dry, so I sometimes get my clothes with it. And we're going to decide where the water line is. Pull down just a little. The, the closer a reflection is to you, the more you'll pull down. So these ones are the furthest away in my mind. And then very gently just a little bit on the side. Palette knife. A little bit of liquid white. I'm going to mix it in with this super bright red. This is the day that we're not going to be afraid of colors. I'm just going to cut in the water line here. Basically, it's like scrubbing. So you want to make sure that the edge of your knife, this top edge, you basically want to make sure that that is flat. It doesn't matter if you're going diagonally or whatever, you want to make sure it's flat like that. Because there's no such thing as a or as, as a diagonal uh, water. I'm just gonna add a few more little strength. This thing evergreen tree here. A few of them, different sides. Pretty big, so he 
ends up in the water. They have all of these ones there. And since we push down to do these evergreen trees, we need to push up to make the reflection. Everything's basically backwards. Brush. Just a little bit. You just want to spread the paint. Little paint out. Very good. Alright. Now we're going to go in a little bit closer. So now we're going to go in bigger trees. Like there. The faster you do them, actually, the better they end up looking. Of course, they have their own reflections. Think too much about them. The reflections are going to get pretty crazily distorted by the time you're done. So 
in the little bit. I'll get some of that brown too. Back into that bright red we had, bright red and white. I want to start. Finally, I just need to sort of finish, finish the look. We've got to complete the look. Nothing says completing the look like two things. First, we're going to have a really big tree now. Okay. Here, little tree. That was going to be a big one. No, oh, just a little tree. That and they're just sort of picking up a little bit. Maybe make some kind of glasses. There. Go into some dark color. Put that. Look at the, the trunk of the tree. Maybe I'm going to say more of a highlight for the bottom of the Maybe I have some kind of a bush by sort of mashing it in. Just brighten it up a little bit on the edges. Just want to add two 
to my friends. All those guys. All those other guys ahead of me, they got Why don't I get Sometimes that's the way it goes in life. Some people get something, and other people don't get very much. Yeah. It's starting to look pretty good to me. I need to find my designer brush. Here it is. So, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our sort of details. These are the ones that really I find you can paint almost nothing and it doesn't look very good. And as soon as you add these for some reason, I don't know why, but it really just starts to look in the forested area. And this is the you guys. I don't know why that is the case, but that seems to be the case every time I put um, it. I'm more than enough of your time. Thank you very much for watching the show. Uh, I hope the sound was better. I spent quite a bit of time uh, putting up these panels here that are going to cut down on the echo and using a new microphone. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the painting. I hope you enjoyed the sunset. I'll see you guys around next time. Bye!